My name is Naveen Jain and I'm founder and chairman of Moon Express. If you think about it, we live on this tiny place called Pale Blue Dot, yeah. right? And we are just in our own galaxy, a tiny thing that is immaterial. And, you know, the things that we fight over are land, water and, uh, you know, energy. And all you have to do is look up in space. We have abundance of land, we have abundance of energy and we have abundance of water. And what if you can change people's mindset from that of a scarcity of abundance? The only reason people believe that things are scarce because somehow they believe that living on the moon or Mars or Titan or Europa is not possible. If we can go live on these harsh conditions in the seven continents on planet Earth, let's think of a moon as our eighth continent where it could be essentially someday as easy if not even easier to get to the moon than it is go from here to Sydney. We are the only company in the universe that currently has a permission to leave Earth orbit and land on the moon. And many people falsely believe that whether it is going to space station or Richard Branson doing the space flight, they're all leaving the Earth orbit and they're all going to space. I mean, they are all actually still a low Earth orbit, not even in the ge geosync orbit. No private company has ever left Earth orbit. When we land on the moon, not only we become the first company to do so, we actually are now the fourth superpower after United States, Russia and China to have landed on any planetary body. And that to me is really a seminal event, a symbolic of what entrepreneurs are capable of doing. Technical hurdles are, it is a rocket science, right? But it is well understood rocket science. You know, to some extent, we did that 50 years ago, and we did that with a computing power that is less than what we have it on our pocket. A iPhone has more processing power than the computers that landed on the moon. So really, it's not a technical challenge. It is just simply about how do we do it in, at a price point where the entrepreneurs can create a good business out of it. So what we are doing really to some extent is building an iPhone of the space that allows other people to build applications on top of that. And of course, we will build our own applications on top of that. And those applications could be creating a fuel out of the water on the South Pole, which is hydrogen and oxygen. That means fuel for the rocket and the fuel for humans. What if we were able to now collect the platinum grade material and bring it back as a resource? What if we could bring back helium-3 that could be a small quantity of helium-3 could power this planet for generations to come. A completely non-radioactive, clean energy source of creating abundance of energy. What if you just brought the moon rocks back? And I believe that even that moon rocks could be worth billions of dollars by re completely replacing the diamond as a symbol of love. Because neither the diamond is rare, nor is it really as should, be, should have been a symbol of love other than br brilliant marketing of DBRs. Everyone gives someone a diamond. If you love her enough, you give her the moon. <laughs> there are tremendous amount of parallels between the internet and space. So, and when the internet started, there were three types of companies that were created. The companies that laid the fiber, and the companies that build the last mile solutions, and then the companies that build the applications on top of that. The companies that are building the rocket are really the fiber of the space. Companies that are building the lander technologies are really the last mile solutions. And the companies that are going to be building the applications on top of that are really the ones that are going to be driving the most amount of value. Now the question really comes down to it, what application in the space will capture the people's imagination? When iPhone was announced and if Steve Jobs were to ask every single person, hey, we're going to have an app store, what app would you like on this phone? There is not a single person who would have said, you know what? I would love to throw the birds at the pigs, give that to me. Yeah. But that's exactly what people did. And it took nine years after that to recapture people's imagination. It was called Pokemon Go. And that did more for the kids to get out of the house than parents could have ever done. Any parent could have done. It recaptured the imagination. So the question really is, who will build that Pokemon Go of the moon? Who will build the Angry Bird of the moon? And what is that Angry Bird of the moon? 
and either we're going to find that Pokemon Go of the Moon ourselves or we're going to open it up for other people to be built applications on top of that. But at least in the near term, just having a fuel depot on the Moon orbit or even in the Earth orbit, it is really a tremendous benefit uh, for a spacefaring economy because when you are going from Earth, from Earth gravity, 93% of the weight of the rocket is really the fuel. That means to carry every drop of fuel, you have to carry another drop. Now with the reusable rockets, and if you can reduce the amount of fuel you have to carry, imagine how cheap they can get because the cost of going to space really will be just the marginal cost of the fuel. And that means there is no doubt in my mind if Elon can go to the Mars in 10 years for $100,000, there is no doubt in my mind we can go to the moon uh, in 10 years for $10,000. And that sounds a lot today, but that will be $1,000 someday. And it'll be like a ticket to go anywhere on US. If we can dream so big and make it happen to land on the moon, what would you do? What would be your moonshot? And my hope is landing on the moon is that four minute a mile event that once someone showed that you can run a mile under four minutes, there were 13 other people who ran the mile next year. What would you do? Would you go out and build the next Pokemon Go of the moon because we showed you that landing on the moon is possible?